Taylor Stanley, and I'm a dancer with New York City Ballet. When The Pillow offered me this project, it's sort of a solo program that's being curated and developed, but they also offered to bring on other artists who I had interest in, and that really charged me and excited me. I thought of dancers who I was interested in working with or had some sort of relationship with already, you know, either from a distance or had known for, for years. Just these, these artists just kind of popped into my head and I kind of went with that instinct to invite them and ask if they were interested in joining. And everyone's from like a different background of dance and from a different sector of the dance world and that's so unique on its own but there's also so much crossover and connection between our experiences being performers and and you know getting to work with various choreographers during our times as you know professional dancers and I think that's also really exciting. <laughs> so we're meeting, we've all met for the first time. Hi. At the feed store. There's the feed store. <laughs> and we're gonna get on our way. Okay. I remember meeting Jody at a dance space performance. I was just blown away by her whole being and her performance and later on I got the chance to work with her. I felt like this anticipation to really channel every, everything that I saw that she was in that performance. I, I really wanted to like make sure I was keeping that in my, in my system when I first worked with her and I loved and I, I still love everything she talks about in relation to the body and the physicality of the body and the anatomy with which we move and direct you know our limbs and our organs and our our skeletal system and that all made so much sense to me when I when I first you know started working with her and getting to perform <laughs> in that way with those ideas in mind i felt really like safe and secure with that knowledge for the last couple years i've had a very a consistent but sporadic really working relationship with Taylor, whether it was in a studio or it was on Zoom. So we've had this kind of on unraveling thread of this material I'm really interested in. So when he asked me if I would expand those ideas of this solo and duet work into a larger group, I just gathered different sets of images and thoughts. I expanded maybe our duet, solo development process, and imagine putting people, bringing people into it. As a choreographer, I accept that I don't always know what I want to make. And now here's like a perfect opportunity to be influenced by people I don't know. I don't even know if I'm interested in how they move with my movement. I don't know any of this. I also want the dancer, the person, to keep embodying the musicality, the rhythm, the direction of the movement we're working on. And then the other thing with that is that I'm working with dancers, a lot of them that I've never met before, that are completely different than me. And I have zero interest in getting them to dance and move the way I move. You know, that's lust. And then I want to really get to like the, the deepness in that. And that's when, you know, they come to me, they come to me, but then I want to go to them, I want to go to them. And that's, that's starting now, so that's really exciting for me. 
I can't even imagine like not wanting everything that you are in a studio with me. Or I mean, obviously in life as a friend or going out or hanging out, but in the studio in a working situation, I can't ever imagine that you would have to like leave any part of yourself like over there to spend the four hours with me. Mm. And I'm just wondering if that, is that, do you feel a shift in dance? Did you feel that, say, at New York City Ballet, or have you felt that? I think more unconsciously I may have felt that prior to, like, working with you and working with Kyle and people. I just felt being in a studio with, I didn't have to, like, change anything. Right. Because my surroundings felt safe instinctually. Right. And. I think we're addressing these things in the ballet world where we can make the environments more safe, more instinctually safe for people in that right. way. But yeah, I think I entered into the company or into the ballet world at a time where like, I was also not fully aware of who I was and therefore felt a need to assimilate to a certain male aesthetic in order to like be in a rehearsal room or be on stage and and would you say that has changed your dancing yes and no i feel like i've always had this fluidity in my dancing not in my not in how i identify my gender or my sexuality not until it was brought to my attention that People felt that from me, that I became aware of that fluidity in my artistry. I just can't imagine wanting to work with anybody who could not be exactly who they are because it's it selfishly then it's you're not giving me enough you're not giving me what every possibility mm. and i love every possibility i kind of knew going into this was gonna go, like six of us were gonna go on a week-long blind date somewhere. And it was, that was like the first part of that deep dive free fall. And knowing and trusting Taylor and him knowing me and trusting, trusting me was a big part of that. I feel like rarely are you with a group of dancers where everyone is from like a, a really different background and kind of works you know, there's like someone from Graham and New York City Ballet and Ailey and it, there's such different like languages that they work in. This process has been very challenging in a great way. I come from the Graham background, but I have I have trained in other techniques, but you know, we eat, each of us bring our own flavor <laughs> to the pot, and Jody welcomes it. And you know, obviously, we're learning from her, and she's very skilled with so much information. It has, which we've talked about as a group, felt like such a, a gift, such a golden opportunity that we've been given. So there's like, okay, I haven't interacted with people in months, like just base level interaction with people in months, and then dancing and like physically, you know, trusting my body to someone else and them trusting theirs with me. Like that hasn't happened for most of us and even longer. I feel like I've learned so much throughout this process, but something that I feel like I will definitely take with me back to Ailey is this idea that, that movement is all well-rounded and it's multifaceted and it doesn't have to be one thing or the other thing. Like it can be both improvisational and impulsive, but also structured and thoughtful. And I think before, previously, especially doing a lot of um, a revival works, you know, you have an idea of what it was and trying to recreate that experience or, and maybe bring that into current time. 
but I'm realizing now that I don't have to um, try to do one thing or the other thing. I can honor my own impulses and bring myself into the work authentically while still having it be a part of a wider structure and a greater experience. And also I think relationship to other people in the room and recognizing that um, differences are like really, really beautiful and um, you know, the, our different pathways are really grand and when they combine, like they, that's really when the beauty happens is when everyone, you know, is their most authentic self and the kind of shares their background into the work and then how we relate to each other in the space. It's me, it's you, and it's the work. And then there's the work. Like I love that they each have their slot, their place. And I love that, like stepping in and over and meshing and braiding. I have never laughed this much. From the minute we get up till when we go to bed, it's nonstop laughter. We were such fast friends, you know? I think Taylor did such an amazing job at bringing people together who all have such like warmth and generosity, you know? So it made it very easy to, to be together. What's been the most important for me throughout this process is just releasing the pressure to have to feel a certain way at any given moment. When, we come, when I come into a studio, I'm doing what feels really truthful and honest and want to share that with people and going back to what's really important to me, which is, you know, nature and relationships. And I don't know if you see it in the work. I don't even care, but that's how I go into a project. I think a big part of what this is to me is also sharing my experience of Jody, which is very much our experience, and there's a sacredness to that. And I find when I'm really charged by something, it's something I want to spread or impart on others if they're willing to, you know, embrace and accept that.